Hi, welcome to the second episode of The Needle, the channel where I dig through the haystack of records to find the finest electronic music that I think deserves more recognition. Today, I would like to present Departures, recorded by Smug Listener and released on the British label Vertical Forum in 2001. Smug Listener is the Swedish word for eavesdropping and the moniker used by Henrik Johansson. It's been hard to research him. Henrik Johansson appears almost 2,000 times in the Swedish phone dictionary. And it doesn't help that Henrik appears to be one of the more common names for Swedish electronic music producers. There are a handful of releases under the name Smug Listener. They appear between 1997 and 2004. I can also find an additional track on Spotify on a compilation curated by the Swedish radio program Ström. This was in 2008. I haven't been able to get any further, despite knowing two of the radio hosts. Henrik will have to remain an enigma for now. A North London post box address is the only trace of vertical form I can find. However, I don't think that address is valid anymore. The label operated between 1999 and 2005. I'm the lucky owner of a handful of their records and I have to say it's one of my favourite record labels. The quality of their output is absolutely phenomenal and I'm surprised they haven't received a lot more recognition. There are six tracks on this record, three on each side. The style varies from ambient to a lot more rhythmical, but not danceable exactly. The quality is quite raw and you can hear lo-fi digital artifacts at times. I guess it's inevitable, but the musical quality is also a bit uneven. However, overall it's absolutely fantastic and I think you should grab yourself a copy if you can. I'm surprised that records like this exist. They're not exactly aimed at the masses. But who are they for and when are you meant to listen to them? Maybe I shouldn't think about it and just enjoy that it's here for me to listen to. I think it works quite well on a foggy autumnal Sunday morning while having coffee and looking through the condensation on my living room window. I listened to an interview with Sebastian Miller the other week. He is another Swedish electronic music producer. He's talking about capturing the moment or being completely in the present when he's making the music. In a way, letting the music come to him rather than the other way around. I think this is an interesting way of thinking about it when you're listening to music too. Just let the sounds be there while you're having breakfast that Sunday morning. The moment will become meaningful, but there is no need for you to actively seek that meaning. Sebastian is talking about it in the context of making music, but I think it works for listening to music too. I will leave a link to the podcast in the description. The interview is very well worth a listen. I will also leave a link to the Discogs page, which seems to be the only place where you can buy this record now. The search for a digital version of this record was futile. I spent a bit of time on Google, but couldn't get anywhere. 
I suppose that's why I'm making this YouTube series. To acknowledge those records that would otherwise get lost so easily. Do you have any records in your collection that you think deserves more recognition? One of those records where you just wonder why haven't I seen more about this? Why is no one talking about it? Please leave a note in the comments. I would love to hear about them. If you've been listening this far, I suspect you have an interest in electronica and ambient electronic music. I would love to hear why you're listening to it, where and when. Please leave a comment, I would love to know. Thank you for listening, and I hope you come back next Tuesday. Goodbye.